Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. It's the Curse Captain here with yet another video. Today, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the Emissary Ledger and how it works. I'm also going to share some ideas around fleets that I would love to see added into the Sea of Thieves. Before we get started, if you enjoy this content and find it helpful, please hit that subscribe button. Each sub is greatly appreciated, and if given the honor of your sub, I promise I will continue to work hard to bring you quality content worthy of it. And as always, to all of those that have already subscribed, thank you so very much for your support. Now let's jump into today's video. With the Ships of Fortune update in the Sea of Thieves, we have seen the introduction of the Emissary Ledger. This ledger is a global leaderboard allowing us pirates to earn exclusive cosmetics tied to our favorite trading companies. Each of the five participating trading companies, Gold Hoarders, Merchant Alliance, Order of Souls, Athena's Fortune, and the Reaper's Bones, has a ledger and the rankings will reset at the start of each month, which means finishing the month in good standing with your chosen company is very important if you want to earn those unique titles and cosmetics. Where can you find this ledger and what is my ranking, you ask? Well, you can find this ledger in your in-game menu and in the ledger you will see your global rank. You can view this at any time while you're sailing the seas or you can also check out the Sea of Thieves website at seaofthieves.com forward slash leaderboards. You increase rank with a company by handing in loot to them while representing them as an emissary. The higher the value of the turn in, the more ranking you get, which means you want to use the emissary grade system to your advantage to increase the turn in value. I have put together an advanced guide video showing you how to farm the emissary system. So if you're not sure of the best methods to grind your emissary grade, make sure to check that out. There are four tiers to each company ledger and only certain tiers will give you rewards. Tier one earns you nothing. So don't be a tier one player. Tier two earns you a title. Tier three earns you a title and a lower tier sale cosmetic. Tier four earns you a title lower tier sale cosmetic, and a top tier sales cosmetic. At the end of every month, when the ledger closes, you will be automatically awarded any earned titles or cosmetics. However, it could take up to 72 hours for it to happen, so keep that in mind. So Captain Hippo, I've reached tier four. Is my position safe? Well, that is a fantastic question, Mitty. The short answer, no. You have to earn and keep your spot. Ledgers remain active up until they close out, which means resting on your you could see your spot overtaken by another pirate, resulting in you being pushed down in rank. When a ledger closes at the end of a calendar month, a new set of ledgers will open. Any rewards earned are calculated and distributed based on your ranking and emissary contributions from that point on and are tracked in the new ledgers. Now, if you just started contributing to your trading company and it's almost the end of the month, does that mean you will miss out on the rewards? Well, my pirate friend, the rewards will not change from month to month, which means they will still be achievable by performing great acts of piracy in the next month's ledger. The Emissary Ledgers, aka Global Leaderboard, is an amazing addition to the game that I really enjoy. I think it inspires competition and something for us pirates to achieve every month. In addition to the individual ledgers, something that I would love to see is what I'm calling Fleet Ledgers. I would love to be able to form a fleet and invite my friends to join, similar to how the guild system works in other games. It would be awesome if there were fleet specific cosmetics you could earn, or as the fleet commander, you could design your own cosmetics, giving your mates a unique look on the seas for others to fear. I think a system like this would strengthen the bond we have with our existing crew while allowing us to bring aboard some new like-minded pirates. I love the sense of community that CFDs has cultivated and I think something like this could really help it grow. What do you think? Make sure to let me know in the comments below. I really do love reading all the responses, even the ones that don't quite make sense. Also, if you're looking for a great community of scurvy dogs, make sure to join the Hit Crew Discord. You can find the link in the description of this video. Thank you again for watching, mates, and I hope to see you out on the seas.